So the Miami draw has just come out and there are some really interesting unseated players in the draw and some of the big names are going to have to play some of those players. But let's go have a look at the players who are not playing in Miami this year. Okay, so the players that are not playing, Andreva, she's pulled out. Anisimova has also pulled out. Bencic and Kvitova, both pulling out. Of course, not playing for the rest of the year because they're having babies. Mukova, she just got surgery. She's pulled out. Also, Sevastova pulled out with injury. Sharif, she's not going to play. And Vondrusova, also not playing in this one due to personal reasons. So some big names there that will be missing in Miami. Okay. All right, so the top half of the draw, the top section of the draw, of course, 32 seeds in this one. Everyone gets a buy in the first round. Starting with Sviantec, world number one. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Freya or Georgie in the second round. So not an easy matchup there if it is Georgie in that second round. Then you've got Gracheva taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 26 seed, Noskova, in the second round. And Noskova Sviantec, they've played a lot this year already. That could be a third round. Then you've got Pavlyuchenkova getting a buy in the first round, the 21st seed. She'll take on either Fruvitova or Rogers in the second round. Then you've got Vekic taking on Pliskova winner of that will take on the number 14 seed, Alexandrova, in the second round. So, pretty good section of the draw for Sviantec. I mean, yeah, there's some danger players. Obviously, Nozkova beat Sviantec at the Australian Open, so that's a danger. But she just beat her at Indian Wells in straight sets. So, that should be pretty manageable, you think, for Sviantec. Pliskova's definitely dangerous down the bottom there. Fruvitova can do things. Shelby Rogers coming back for the first time uh, in a while. So, look, if you're a Sviantec fan, you've got to be happy with that. All right, next section of the draw, you've got Pellini, the number 12 seed. To buy in the first round, she'll take on either a qualifier or a cannon in the second round. So Pellini cannon, great second round matchup potentially there. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Trevison. Winner of that will take on the number 20 seed Navarro in the second round. Then you've got the 31st seed Fernandez. She'll take on either Maria or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Buzkova taking on Zoo. Winner of that will take on the number five seed Pagula in the second round. So another interesting section, a pretty wide open section. You know, Navarro's played well, Pellini's played well. Fernandez has been playing well at times. Pagula needs some form. So she's got to play well and might be a little bit under pressure. Cannon, obviously, a dangerous unseated player. So, really fun little section here. And this section takes on Sviantec's section. So, we'll see what happens with that as well. Alright, next section of the draw, we've got Coco Goff. Number three seed. To buy in the first round. She'll take any of the a qualifier Kruger in the second round. Then you got Tormo versus Roos. Winner of that will take on the number 29 seed, Kostchuk, in the second round. Then you got Garcia, number 23 seed. To buy in the first round. She'll take on either Tomova or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Chucky Oreto taking on Osaka. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Svetlana Lina in the second round. So Svetlina Osaka, second round, could be a thing. You know, Osaka versus Garcia, third round. They've already played a couple times this year, so that's going to be really fun. But again, I mean, Goff made the semifinals last week of Indian Wells. I think she'd be pretty uh, pretty happy with this draw. I think she'd be too worried about uh, this section at all. All right, next section of the draw, you've got the number 10 seed, Kazakina. By in the first round, she'll take on either a qualifier or Martic in the second. Then you've got uh, Stevens taking on Kerber. Great first round there. Winner of that will take on the number 19 seed, Kaseya, in the second round. Then you've got the 30th seed, Potapova. She'll take on either a qualifier or Collins in the second round. Then you've got Avanesian taking on Andreva. That is Erica Andreva. Winner of that will take on the number 6 seed, Onstjabur, in the second round. And again, pretty open section. You know, Jabur needs some form. Kazakina has been good this year. There's obviously dangerous players like Collins and Kerber and the unseated players. Potapova played really well last week. Steyer played really well here last year. So a nice little section. Of course, this half or this quarter of the draw will take on the Sviantec quarter of the draw. So potentially, we could be getting could be getting Sviantec taken on Goff in a semi-final. We could be getting Sviantec taken on Jabur in a semi-final. Maybe even Sviantec versus Kazakina if you want to go with something a little bit different in the draw. You probably go, if you want to dream big, Big, you can probably go with Osaka versus Fiontek, which, I mean, that's dreaming real big, but hey, it is a possibility that Fiontek can play Osaka in that semi-final. All right, next, bottom half of the draw, next section, we've got number eight seed, Sakri. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Blinkova or Yuan in the second round. Then you've got Savile taking on Zhong. Winner of that will take on the number 28 seed, Yastremska, in the second round. Then you've got the 22nd seed, Kalinskaya. who will take on either Wong or Raducanu in the second round. Raducanu and Kalinskaya, very fun matchup. Want to see what that looks like. Then you've got two qualifiers playing each other. Winner of that match take on the number nine seed Ostapenko in the second round. There's some fun names in this. You know, you've obviously got Raducanu as the unseated player. Zachary's just played well last week. Kalen Sky has been good this year. Ostapenko's always dangerous. Stremska. I mean, this is probably the most stacked section with the seed because everyone's playing well in this section for the seed. All right, next section of the draw, you got number 16 seed Kudamatova. To buy in the first round, she'll take on either Wong or Baptist in the second round. Then you got Schneider taking on Venus Williams. Winner of that will take on the number 17 seed Keys in the second round. Then you got the 25th seed 
Merton. She'll take on either Bronzetti or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Dollarhide taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number four seed, Rabakina, in the second round. Again, nice section of the draw for the top seed, you know, for the top seed of this section. Rabakina, I mean, Dollarhide could be awkward in the second round. Merton's played well last week, but Rabakina's got to like a chance of getting through here. I mean, you've got to watch out for Venus, obviously, as well. Keys, she could come good. So I don't know if, I don't think Rabakina will really mind this section of the draw. All right, next section, we've got the number seven seed, Zhang. She will take on, uh, after getting a buy in the first round, she will take on either Bogdan or Sinia Kova in the second round. Then you've got Stearns taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on the number 27 seed, Azarenka, in the second round. Then you've got the number 24 seed, Bolter. She'll get a buy in the first round. She'll take on either a qualifier or Brenda Fruvitova, so the younger of the two sisters, in the second round. Then you've got Christian taking on Parry. Winner of that will take on the number 11 seed, Hadaj Maya, in the second round. So, Zhang hasn't been great since the Australian Open. Really needs some form. Miami being a little bit more like the Australian Open court to speed. She might be able to do something. Hadaj Maya, also, you know, she's usually a slow court player, so I don't know how well she's going to do here. Bolt has been in good form. I mean, as a rank, you always got to watch out for her. And maybe keep an eye on Stearns, because remember, Stearns almost beat Sabalenka last week in Indian Wells. So she's got to be feeling pretty good about almost beating the world number two. And the bottom section of the draw, probably the most stacked with number 13 seed Samson over. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Putin Seva or Buxa in the second round. Then you got Sharenko taking on Lynette. Winner of that will take on the number 18 seed, Krajikova, in the second round. Then you got the number 32 seed, Kalanina, getting a bye in the first round. We'll take on either Burrell or Wozniacki in the second round. Then you've got Halep versus Bedosa. Return to Simona Halep. Huge matchup. Winner to play Sabalenka, the number two seed. That is insane. That section is insane. Now, Bedosa has had injuries, so let's see if she plays. But if that plays true, that is an insane section and a terrible draw for Sabalenka to start with. That is a nightmare. Halep hasn't played for a while, but she is still, I think, a very dangerous player. Uh, of course, you've got to watch out for Sabalenka. You've got to watch out for Krajikova. She can come good. Samson over also. But Halep is the big one. Halep is the one that we're all going to be focusing on. Uh, Wozniacki as well. Got to keep an eye on her. Out of respect. And last week did really well. But Simona Halep is the one for me that you've got to keep an eye on. And this section of the draw, of course, will take on the Rabakina section in a semifinal. So Rabakina versus Sabalenka, semifinal. Uh, if you want to go something a little bit different, you could be going with uh, Sabalenka taking on Zachary, who's been really good this week, of course. You could go with Sabalenka taking on Ostapenko if you want to go a little bit more random. Or if you want Rabakina in the semis, you can go Rabakina Zhang, Rabakina Krajikova, Rabakina Azarenka, maybe, if you want to go something a little different, but man, that is the draw for Miami. It's crazy. That bottom part of the draw is insane. Everything else seems a little a bit of average, kind of. I mean, a little bit predictable, maybe a little bit obvious, but that bottom section with Halep, Sabalenka, I mean, come on. That's insane. Who do you think's going to win, chat? Who is going to win this one? I'm going to I'm gonna back Rabakina. I think Rabakina, if she's healthy, might be able to win this whole thing. If she's healthy. Sabalenka's draw, though, was a nightmare, so I don't know if I could back her, but maybe, maybe Rabakina. So if she's feeling pretty good, especially with Sabalenka in the semis, Sabalenka could lose, and then we're back in his road is a little bit easier. But there it is. That's the Miami draw for the ladies. The men's draw comes out tomorrow.